Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Code Hunt. Uh, join me in the second sector about loops. And uh, as soon as the level started, we're going to jump right into the first of eight additional levels we're supposed to solve with loops. And I'm pretty excited to see whether uh, these levels are actually solvable with loop with loops only. Uh, of course, uh, I also have the task in mind to get all the skill points, and I'm a bit confused right now because in the background I'm currently still seeing the sector selection screen, which is kind of strange. But maybe this is fixable. Let's just try to re-enter this level. Looks better so far. Yes, looks better, looks better. Okay, so we're going to capture some more code with loops. And in this case, we have, again, a puzzle function that gets in two integers. One is called number, the other is called power and I'm going to return a number. So, a uh, wild guess is that I'm going to calculate the first number to the power of the second number. Might well be 1 to the power of 0 is 1, 1 to the power of 1 is 1, 2 to the power of 7 is 128. Yes, makes sense. But of course, I'm supposed to solve this with loops. So I have an int result is zero, and I have four int i equals zero i smaller power i plus plus. Uh, actually. Da, 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 da. How, am, how am I going to do this? I'm going to initialize this with number and start off with one. So then it's result times number. And of course, I'm going to return result. I, I'm really curious why this indentation is so messed up here. Don't know. Let's see. Is that what I was looking for? It's really strange. Sometimes this this whole game has a lot of of really really strange bugs, but then you just reloaded it and all of a sudden it works. It's kind of there's a indeterministic thing running in the background, which uh, hopefully is not the case. But oh, why is this? Oh, I, of course I messed up the zero cases. That is right. That is right. So I have to, yeah, yeah, of course. I initialize this one with one and start off at the zero. Yeah, that was stupid, of course. So this time it should be right. But it's actually taking quite a long time to calculate this. Is it so difficult? And we captured it, but we did not get all the skill points which is quite interesting. So what else could we do to improve this? Let's think about it for a second. What is it I could do? Okay, I could save some of this code by saying, okay, I check that power is actually bigger than zero and say power minus minus. That should be possible. So I saved some code. Maybe this is what Microsoft wants from me. No, no, it's not yet. I'm not there yet. I could, of course, include this into, uh, into the loop increment, but I don't think that is what I gonna want to do. 
Let's see, do I have another idea how to do this? Just, just out of curiosity, there's a Java math, I guess it's called POW. I just want to see what happens if I use this uh, this POW method, which is yeah, as I get as I thought. So I'm going to make my life easy and just return math dot POW number power and look what's going to happen. And I'm really curious to see what's the skill rating right now because of course that's kind of cheating. What cannot implicitly convert double to int? Missing explicit cast. It may be that mathpow returns a double, so I have to explicitly cast this to int, which is the case. Oh, <laughs> interesting. So for minus. Interesting. Really interesting. So this is actually not working. Um, I find myself unable to actually explain this phenomenon uh, since my brain is unable to calculate minus 11 to the power of 9. Uh, I cannot really check what the thing is. But this is this is kind of a surprise, isn't it? This comes as a surprise. What is this C-sharp code he made out of it? System math pow number power. Yeah. Okay, this looks pretty much the same. So, okay, I'm going to lose my code again, probably. Um, it's pretty much the same. I'm not sure why this is not working. But I'm going to return to my original solution, which is, as I know, working and passing all the tests, but still it only gets a skill rating of two points and I really want to improve that. So what could I do to make this any easier? There's no functional extensions. I know that probably in in C sharp I could do some functional ex I could use some functional extension methods uh, from a link library or something to do this. But I'm on my way in Java and there is no such thing. So I'm not really sure what my possibilities are. So maybe maybe I just ask cheat a little and ask Stack Overflow. So let's say Java calculate and to the power of M. Maybe it helps me. Base to power of N problem. I don't think recursive computation. Of course, I could do a recursive computation here. I had this before and it gave me better grades in this loop solution. So I could return um, if power equals zero return one else return puzzle of number oh sorry return number times puzzle of number and power minus one i could do it like this let's see what's the output recursion is always an option and in fact, it gives me the full score points. Yet yeah. again, Microsoft, it's not so nice if you have loop levels and you need to do recursion to get the full uh, skill points on it. So if you have any ideas how we could solve this level with a loop and actually get the full skill points, uh, let me know because I'm really curious to see if there's some easier loop solution than the one I implemented before. 
But for now, let's continue and keep in mind that it really helps uh, using recursion in case uh, the loop solution is not getting all the skill points. Okay, so on to the next problem. We have an input and an output both of type integer and we actually have a non-default return value which is i times i minus 1 but this is uh, apparently not the right solution yet so we have to change something more and we know that for i we're supposed to return 1 uh, for i1 we're supposed to return 1 but currently return 0 which makes sense and for 7 we're actually supposed to return 5400 and uh, for 3 we're supposed to return 6 which we do um, maybe this this predefined return value is a hint I don't get yet but I will start with my default approach and just say okay let's return some some of the values and see whether I get more information to actually solve this correctly let's see what's there is 5400 dividable by 7 let's check 5400 divided by 7 is 720 interesting anyways um, Funnily enough, for 6 the return value is exactly 720. So this value times 7 is this value, which is kind of interesting because this probably means that. I guess I'm going. I'm going for the. I'm going for the recursive solution immediately. If i equals zero, I'm going to return one. Otherwise, I'm going to return i times puzzle of i minus one. Uh, I don't know if I need the braces, but I will add them. And actually, try this out. Come on, tell me that I'm good. Captured and I wrote elegant code. Thank you Microsoft, again not exactly loop solution for a loop problem. Continue on to the next one. Okay, what do we have here? We have a puzzle function that returns an int and we get a lower bound and an upper bound which are both ends and the default implementation uh, multiplies them since what's 16 times 17 uh, 16 times 10 is 160 240 and 3 times Uh, 2 times 16 is 32, so this is exact. So 272 is exactly 16 times 17. This is interesting. So my wild guess is that return if lower bound equals upper bound then I'm going to return lower bound else I'm going to return does this make sense I guess it doesn't make any difference, but I'm going to do it like that. If the bounds are the same, I return the up bound. If not, I return up bound times 
at the braces immediately. Uh, upper bound times puzzle of lower bound upper bound minus one. Just a guess. So I basically multiply uh, upper bound times upper bound minus one times upper bound minus two and so on till I go to the lower bound. And again, this takes him quite a long time to compute, but this captures our problem and is a very elegant solution. So just forget about loops, solve the loops, loops things with uh, recursion and it will get you the best skill points. One more level I'm going to try for today. If it's as easy as the last ones, uh, if it's as easy, but currently it kind of looks messed up. What happened here? Can I reload that, please? Maybe it's working now. No, it's not working. So what's the deal here, Microsoft? What are you doing? This is currently not solvable. So it's it's kind of it's kind of strange, isn't it, that they build a framework uh, to display this kind of this kind of tasks, and it works for the first thirty tasks or so, and for the thirty first task, all of a sudden it breaks. Normally, there's this thing called the the rule of three, which says that most things, if they work for three different cases, then they work for all other cases out there as well. But uh, I guess in this case, Microsoft proved that the rule of three is not always uh, a rule to go by. I'm not sure what's currently going on. This might be my network connection again. But it's doing something, it's opening code hunt, it's loading. Please let me pre press on play. Let me open the loop sector 2. Loading the levels. Let me load level 4. And hey, all of a sudden I have a, in this case, not code highlighted, but at least complete program. I'm a bit confused right now, but... Anyways, I'm going to try to. Oh, and I have no. I have no syntax help, no indentation, no nothing. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I'm going to try my best to solve this anyways. If n equals zero, I'm going to return zero. And if n equals fifteen, I'm going to return fifteen. And since the key shortcuts don't work in this kind of messed up editor, I'm going to press the capture code button manually. Uh, so if in the next couple of minutes the save dialog pops up a couple of times, then it's because I accidentally hit control save as I did during the last episodes, which somehow does not work here because the editor broke. Strange things going on Microsoft. That's why I have not much confidence, not much confidence in the software you develop. I know you work on a different scale than normal people, but anyways, uh, it would be nice if at least the small things you do would work. Oh, there I messed up the expectation. Did I? Expected result 56. Did it really type that wrong? Anyways, my fault. Let's see. I currently have no idea what the uh, what the function could be. So maybe uh, with a couple of more results, but it actually takes quite long already. This, this actually might be my internet connection. Um, since this episode is going on for quite a while now already, I think I'm going to stop it here.
and try to figure out what's actually broken here. Maybe I can fix it and then I can continue with a full functional code hunting tool uh, next time. See you around.